Nigerians are dealing with criminals in power. Our hope has been shattered and murdered by clueless and incompetent leaders. It is crystal clear that General Muhammadu Buhari is a power drunk dictator whose desperation for power has been shown after several attempts and when he eventually got ushered to the seat of power, it became very clear that he has not repented from his military cruelty. Despite the killings and kidnapping going on in the country, the only project General Muhammadu Buhari can embark on is to arrest people for staging peaceful protests. Buhari should know that no amount of brutality, intimidation, harassment and use of excessive force can stop an idea whose has come. You cannot criminalize Omoyele Shore for his freedom of expression and keep negotiating with Boko Haram and bandits that have killed thousands of people. Shore has been known as a freedom fighter as far back as military era in the 90s. He never compromised nor did he sell his conscience in exchange for money. His antecedents have earned him recognition throughout the world. General Muhammadu Buhari and his co-travelers are the real conspirators who have been intoxicated by their hold on power. The abnormalities in these governments are enormous and well beyond redemption. See Shawore with handcuffs should be a thing of shame and disgrace to a woeful government that sits on the table of negotiation with Boko Haram and bandits who have killed and continue to kill thousands of innocent people. Meanwhile, Mena was part of government officials who ruined the lives of pensioners and siphoned billions of dollars under the pension scheme. He ran out of the country to Niger Republic only to be brought back to Nigeria with a private jet full of escorts without handcuffs or sign of brutality despite his criminal records. It is no more in news that Nigeria has become a laughing stock in the eyes of the international community, especially with the increase in killings and kidnappings. Mohamed Buhari regime is no more concerned about protecting lives and properties they sworn to protect. The regime, so incompetent, is only chasing critics and freedom fighters. And if General Mohamed Buhari thinks criminalizing Omo Shore is the only way to silence him, he should be prepared to criminalize all Nigerians. We are tired of his regime of woes, agonies, blood, and tears. Enough is enough. This article is written by Ola Rewaju Hamed. Well, it is what it is, and <laughs> and there's nothing um, new that anyone will say. Everybody is still saying the same thing. Everybody is saying the same thing. You can imagine. <laughs> That's just the way it is. You see, I know. I don't know whether this uh, um, these journalists have not been able to even ask all these uh, spokespersons because we can, you can't even see Buhari to even ask him questions. All this uh, lie, Mohammed, Femi Adeshino, and Gaba Shew to even ask them what, how do they, what did, how do they derive joy that they sit down and be negotiating those who are killing people and those who are going to be criticizing what you are doing. You begin to use armor on them you can imagine such a thing how does one judge that how does one judge that well Boris government and his closest cabals are determined to so much to defend and protect their religion but blatantly refuse to do very little to protect humanity and allow nigerian citizens live in peace consequently nigerians including the ruling elites are now living in fear what could be more terrorizing than live in fear? Though I'm not in support of Shore's action, but this statement is an undeniable fact. You are not uh, in support of Shore's. So what is Shore doing that is contradicting what uh, with the facts? I don't understand. Hope this account has not been asked. Okay. <laughs> okay, because uh, this person that is saying is not a uh, is not. Uh, he's not uh, denying this fact that the facts are undeniable. The person is uh, is from the north uh, with his name Abdul Malik Sunday Imam Bohen. So, so someone is not asking, are you sure this uh, account is not asked? <laughs> so what is wrong with Shiwore's, what is what Shiwore is doing? Has he killed anyone by exercising his constitutional rights? Sense is very far from some of you Nigerians. 
Okay. Hmm. What offense has Shiwore committed? What has protesting peaceful a crime? Prote uh, protesting uh, peacefully it has become a crime that you don't you don't support a poor so a Shiwore's action by demanding for good governance or because okay if you just come out and criticize them you should just go and sleep. People that you have been they have been they've been talking to for God knows where they don't listen. You continue to speak, and he has never one day carried arm. Um, he has not carried weapon to eat or to attack anybody. He has not thrown bomb at anybody. So why is this person say he does not support a show or a action? But all the things that uh, the writer has said is right. <laughs> no wonder somebody says uh, <laughs> some people just lack this sense. The freedom of speech is not the freedom of madness. In any democratic society, citizens are given the right to express their view or concern accordingly on any important things, but the freedom of speech will not allow you to break the law of the land. Even Boko Haram members have been brought to book. Like seriously, the ones that they are, that they are negotiating and re-radicalizing uh, re re or, or what? Okay, well, it is a lie. Which book are you talking about? Which book? <laughs> which uh, book have they brought a uh, book or am to that's the question people are asking these particular people some of these say well you know what you, most of the time you tend not to go in the way of you know uh, ethnicity or tribe but when you see majority of the people who are always against the truth they are the same people coming from the north they don't see anything wrong with this uh, uh, administration <laughs> well and you labor Shiwore fight, fights as freedom fights. Really? Okay. The guy is criminal. Okay. Oh, he, hold, he hold you. You are free to protest, but not in the midst of in the middle of middle of the night when we are see battling with insecurity. Like seriously? Well, these people are not real Muslims. So don't because of them commit sins to God. Number one reason, they don't even value the lives of human beings. Muslims don't even Kill because there's no where it was written in the Quran that anybody should take anybody's lives. Well, that is a um, a different thing altogether. The last time Nigeria have president Nigerians have presidents in this country was 2014. Ever since then, we have been presidentless till now. And some gullible northerners will carry Shiwore's issue on their head, like uh, Aju Mbese, and forget terrorists terrorizing their community instead of them. To speak up about the insecurities and Buhari's failure to tackle it, they are busy crying over Shiwore's issue and how he should be jailed. So you people prefer a terrorist to a man fighting for a better nation. Shiwore is a threat to you people's existence. If you want your boss to be released, you just start by telling the public that the man in Asu Rock is not Buhari and see how things will change overnight. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Mm. In case you don't know, this is support for terrorism by raising their flags as the Boko Haram always raise their flag. In that case, Shore should declare himself as a terrorist or bandit so that PMB will negotiate with him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Where were you when a bomb, bomb attacks hit thousands of mosques and churches? It was a time when movements of worship and markets became impossible you have no where to hide we need to be just and fair when discussing national issues really very soon history will judge them all that led to led the country wrongly i believe they will pay for their wickedness has hardened against the general public anyone blaming or criticizing buhari doesn't know the situations he met the country. President Buhari is doing marvelously well and needs to be commended. Hmm. So guys, let's hear your opinion and leave your comments in the comment section. Thank you.